I'm going to do a quick overclock of an AMD Phenom 2 X6 1055T using a Gigabyte 880 GMA UD2H motherboard. And this is really just meant to show you just how easy it is. And if you want to go higher, um, depending on what cooling you have, then you can do that. You may need a little voltage boost, but uh, this is the general idea of how to do it. Um, and this is just going to, we're going to be overclocking to about 3.4 gigahertz, which is just barely over what the chip does naturally uh, with, its, with its, some of its features. Actually, that feature being core performance boost, when it's under stress, it'll go to 3.3 gigahertz uh, if that's enabled anyway. So if you're going to overclock uh, and just have it run at that all the time, uh, that's fine too. When you go into your BIOS, it may look like this, it may look different, but you're going to see a feature called AMD Cool and Quiet. If you leave that on auto, or some BIOSes may uh, say enabled, then your CPU, if it's not under stress, will revert back to about one gigahertz. So you can disable that and let your chip also run at the overclocked speed all the time. If you do disable that, you may want to also disable C1E as it's a power saving feature as well. So to get to overclocking on a Gigabyte BIOS, you'd simply go into the Motherboard Intelligent Tweaker and just remember to keep an eye on the North Bridge, the Hyper Transfer Link Frequency, and your memory and you'll be fine. Most of these BIOSes allow you to hit page up, page down. That's what I'm doing here. On the CPU clock ratio, you want to just go to your highest multiplier. Core performance boost will disable that because our overclock is actually going to be a little bit higher than that would be. Host clock control, you'll go manual and try something like 245 is what we'll do here. That takes us to 3.43 gigahertz. That also took my memory from 1333 to 1632, so I've got to lower that. Uh, I'll run it at 1305. Now the north bridge, we're going to have to find something that's around 2000 megahertz or lower. So I'll go with times 8, that gives us 1960. Same with the hyper transfer link frequency. So I've got my CPU at 3.43, bus at 245, memory at 1305. The only other changes I've made is hit, uh, taken my DRAM to 1.5 volts, and I went into DRAM configuration change this to manual and made these timings 88821 because that's what my memory uh, is designed to run at. You may want to check your memory and see what it's designed to run at and change those as well. So we'll uh, boot this up. I'll show you that it boots and I'll run Prime 95 for a bit and show you that it's sta actually stable. Um, you may want to grab a some sort of a temperature monitoring software like core temp or real temp or uh, something. Um, open hardware monitor is also a pretty good one. Uh, you may want to grab a copy of Prime 95, maybe SuperPi or HyperPi. And uh, as those are very good, you know, benchmarking and monitoring tools, you need something to monitor the temperatures and uh, you know, see what you're actually running at. Here's CPU Z right here. I'll open that real quick and just show you that we are running at, um, you know, 3.43. Okay, you kind of see there we're running at 3.429.9 megahertz. Now, if we waited long enough, that AMD feature would kick in and actually. It, it'll drop down to like 900 megahertz. Now there's a look at what happens with that AMD cool and quiet. I am overclocked to 3.43 gigahertz, but I let the computer sit for a minute, get Windows started up, and it drops down to 980 megahertz. 
Uh, you can see it jump there. Now I'm, we're back up to 3.4. Did you see it move there? <laughs> I didn't do anything, but I could start up uh, Super Pi or uh, Prime 95 or something. It'll jump up to 3.4 gigahertz. So I think it's actually a pretty cool thing to have, to be honest, even if you are overclocking. Okay, I've had Prime 95 running for about 45 minutes now. You can see there I'm at 3.43 gigahertz. It is an AMD Phenom 2 X6 1055T. You can see there I'm running an 880 GMA UD2H Micro ATX motherboard. I did flash my BIOS to version F5 uh, just before I did this. Memory is running at 888.21 at uh, 653 MHz in dual channel. So whatever that is, 13 something or other. And my temperature has been as high as 50. Right now it's at 48. This is with the stock cooler that came with the, the uh, CPU. So that's an easy, mild overclock of the AMD Phenom 2 X6 1055T using a micro ATX motherboard. Not too shabby. Have a great day, guys.